Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm doing this. It's a very, very difficult teardown and clean. Uh, this is the only detailed uh, guide that I can find on YouTube because uh, the others are doing uh, the G4 3 teardown with the wired version and they are not as detailed. So uh, during this teardown, I've made some mistakes. Uh, so if you don't want to do any mistakes, follow closely and it should help you in uh, dismantling it and uh, solving the problems that you face. So again, what we have here today is a Logitech uh, G403 Prodigy wireless uh, mouse. So some measurements, uh, the top to base will be 14 cm at its widest is 11.5 cm. So it's um, not a Bluetooth, it's run by a dongle. Uh, it weighs 106 gram with uh, my scale and it's more suited for a right-handed uh, player. So uh, of course, a uh, gaming mouse has RGB, uh, charges by a mini USB charger and uh, from the specs wise it's a lithium polymer uh, battery rechargeable later on around 15 minutes mark there is uh, a part number for the battery so for those who need to uh, replace it uh, hold on to that so for the dongle is capable of a uh, distance of 10 meters and on Amazon this mouse would cost you $150 without shipping so let's dive into the teardown. If you can see, I spread some goo gone onto the uh, mouse gates to remove uh, the glue. So I have ordered a replacement ones. That's why you can see that I'm not so delicate with it. Prying it open with the back of my pen knife. So here it reveals four screws, uh, all Phillips head. So overall for this teardown right, there's a few screws to take note, uh, only a couple of ones that are more uh, different in shape. So today the tools required will be all in this uh, Mi uh, Precision Screwdriver Kit. So now we do have some access to the lower half but it seems that it's connected to the top uh, by via a ledge. So what I would strongly recommend is let's remove the ribbon cable first before we uh, yank it apart. So again uh, lifting the retainer with the back of my blade will release the uh, ribbon cable. So for uh, those that are not familiar, for me at first, uh, I feel a bit uh, cautious how to split it open. But later on in the uh, screen, right, you'll be able to see how it's being um, so-called attached. So you just need to forcefully uh, remove the center piece of the uh, mouse and the back piece. Then it should release. So you can see that the top piece of the mouse sits flush using these two notches. Then the retainer will be over here, very two small uh, clips pointed out using my uh, screwdriver. So the deprying upwards and forwards to release this uh, catch. After some searching, there's no guide to uh, tear down this mouse, so I have to do some trial and error. So what I'll do is I'll remove the visible screws uh, around the top half uh, as much as possible, and then we'll see how we can uh, dismantle it further. So from the top part, we can see there's a community of switches. All of them are the uh, Omron switches from the part number. So for this mouse, there is uh, six switches, left, right click, um, center mouse uh, click, then there's two on the side, 
and an additional button that is, can be uh, customized. Uh, in fact, most of the buttons can be customized. So for the first half, right, all the screws will be the standard small head with a short uh, threaded one. These are to hold plastic pieces together. So on the later part, you'll see some other uh, different screws. Touching on some of the pros and cons of this uh, mouse is the good thing is that uh, it will be adjustable in weight. There are different weight tokens you'll be able to put it uh, in, uh, dep depending on your liking. Then next will be the programmable buttons, and lastly, uh, because of the uh, high DPI sensor, it, it contributes to the uh, excellent uh, performance. But cons-wise, right, because it's uh, connected via a dongle for this mouse, there is no place for you to store the dongle. You need to put it in the pocket or uh, permanently. Uh, put it onto your laptop or uh, desktop. Secondly, uh, because the newer mouses, right, there is this additional uh, wireless token. You can put it in to convert it into a wireless charging. So you'll be good that uh, if this can be included. And uh, lastly, uh, for this mouse, it's uh, slightly on the heavier side. As you can see, that I'm uh, having some trouble removing the top piece. So uh, there is one screw that is hiding quite deep in where I have not noticed. Later I'll point it out because I've broken the, the plastic uh, uh, attachment point. Then we'll discover where it uh, lives. If you have noticed right, the screw for this side button, right, uh, after its removal, uh, there is a square uh, washer attached to so this is to lock down the position for these side buttons the plastic buttons are held up in place with these uh, notches uh, these are a bit flexible so you will be able to pry it up a bit to release it uh, first thing is do not uh, be too full forceful but uh, do, might, do not be too scared of uh, manipulating it Removing this uh, shielding sticker, right? We found that there's another screw uh, hiding underneath. But however, after the whole tear down, right? Uh, in fact, this part do not need to be removed to access the the top part of the uh, mouse. So after searching for around 15 minutes for uh, the reason why the top is still uh, attached, I tried my luck um, at uh, prying it open and if you can see the plastic part uh, is broken by me. So later on we'll just use some uh, super glue to stick it and hopefully it uh, adheres well. So for this mouse, right, the left right button, they are designed differently. Uh, they can be replaced individually. I guess maybe some uh, sore loser gamer decides to throw his mouse and, and break it, it still can be replaced. I'm not sure. So the other end of the ribbon cable, just flip it up and we can uh, safely uh, remove it and keep it aside. So for this uh, secondary board, uh, that controls or joins up to all the buttons it can be removed as well with two Phillips screws.
more screws review more screws remove so uh, gradually we have access to the other buttons these four screws that uh, holds down the buttons the head seems a bit bigger so um, just make sure that the when assembling right uh, the screw head is big enough to cover the part that needs to be held down so along the tear down and uh, especially at the assembly i will do a lot of checks and double check make sure that uh, the screws are in place but as always they're bound to be um, screws missing is home and after the total assembly you find maybe hopefully one or two extra screws <laughs> then you have to tear down again and uh, resemble which is very taxing all the switches are uh, from uh, omron uh, there are those uh, three pole switches which can be uh, replaceable you have some basic uh, soldering skill and a good uh, uh, soldering iron So from here right, we need to re remove the screw attached to the broken plastic part before we can remove these two other pieces of uh, plastics that are not attached with a screw, it's in fact by a hook. At this point, some of you might be uh, worried or I might get the switches mixed up. So um, easy thing because for this uh, wires, they are a bit hard and uh, kink up to this position. Um, try not to straighten it. So when you put in one of it, then the rest sort of go back in place. Because the wire uh, are cut to the close uh, length they are not of equal length so when you put it in it should be close to where it resides so now i'm tr showing you where the tricky screw uh, resides because um, when the top piece is not removed there's not enough light so i didn't manage to notice there's something there and then broke it So viewers, uh, till now, let's say if this video have helped you in your dismantling or troubleshooting of this uh, mouse, do click on the like button. So for more of this uh, teardown of mouse videos, do subscribe to my channel. Moving on to the lower half of the mouse, right? We have uh, the main uh, PCB board, the battery, and also the uh, screw wheel assembly. So the battery is being helped up with uh, two screws and also uh, the power cable to the PCB board. So for viewers who need to replace the battery, I have the part number here. A sign of relief, the bottom part does not look as complex as the top one. But um, at the end of it, I realized that there was a mistake. So um, dismantling further, we just need to remove the battery leads. So for this screw, uh, the only two with the biggest uh, flat top ones, you need to put it aside. Then removing the uh, power cable. However, observing this, it. it I have a question because if it's not 
wireless charge ready why uh, is there a positive and negative lead uh, attached to the main board so maybe I'll just get the um, wireless uh, module and try to attach it and see if it works so again we'll be removing the screws that are visible and uh, moving uh, deeper so there are two screws for the center click and also for the scroll module the scroll wheel lifts off easily revealing uh, four more uh, screws on the shroud So after removing all the visible screws, right, the PCB board still sits firmly onto the bottom shell. Then after removing uh, this wire out of sight, we notice that there is another screw sitting just underneath the wire uh, to the left. That's the one. The board comes off easily and together we have the on off switch. So um, overall for this mouse it has been well used because you can see traces of uh, fiber, hair and dirt inside of it. So after cleaning the external plastic parts, we'll be moving on to the boards. So interesting find here is uh, all the switches are made by Omron, but there's only one switch is uh, equipped with the 20 million. Uh, the rest will be the standard ones. I got this mouse in the local marketplace. It was posted as uh, perfectly working fine, selling due to an upgrade. So when I receive it, right, I did a series of tests. So left, right switch, they are all uh, well. So uh, in this teardown, there's no need for me to replace any uh, switches. So over so many of my videos, uh, we noticed that a lot of uh, manufacturers, they are using common uh, uh, parts such as switches uh, and uh, ribbon cable. So if you have any that is damaged, uh, do not dump it, uh, keep it aside. So we never know um, if uh, there is a chance we need to replace a switch, uh, a ribbon cable that will be of use. For the scroll wheel, it slides off uh, easily from the encoder. As you can see, right, the axle of the scroll wheel is uh, transparent, uh, mainly because for it to uh, 
uh, transmit uh, the RGB lighting on top. So again, spraying some contact cleaner for the boards. Okay, we'll give you a good scrub. And I noticed that the newer models of this uh, gaming mouse series, they are using this um, hero sensor. So for this, this uh, a uh, couple of years back, so it's still using a uh, non-hero sensor. For the prism, it's possible to remove it, but um, I decided not to because uh, we are not going to uh, fix it anyway. So taking a look at the screw wheel, right? It, there is an additional rubbery piece attached to it. So for this piece, it's quite flexible. You'll be able to uh, expand it a bit and lift it off the wheel. And finally, we are proceeding to uh, assemble the mouse. So uh, this video, it took me a good four hours to record because there was a lot of hiccups um, assemble and yet finding that some pieces are not in I have not shown in this uh, but first of all let's uh, move on to the switch first make sure both are on the uh, off position then you will not damage any switches then the backboard will uh, sit down uh, easily it should not uh, jitter or shake uh, left and right closer look at this uh, mouse rubber piece it's not symmetrical there's uh, two directions so uh, it's quite easy the lower part will face the front and the higher part will face uh, the middle of the mouse after attaching the mouse stroke right uh, and uh, apply some silicone grease on the uh, pivot points So installing the mouse assembly, I would strongly recommend to uh, fit the uh, center uh, click first with two Phillips screw. Then after that, we will attach the screw wheel uh, encoder. That is the one on the left. Moving on, we'll be installing the uh, magnets to the base. So both are uh, identical, so there's no need to um, differentiate left or right. Uh, the black wire obviously will be longer, which is to the left, than the red wire to the right. After which, 
two screws for the battery so for eagle eye fans out, out there if you have noticed i should have missed one screw for the pcb board which is one that is on the left uh, a wire under the left wire for the scroll wheel um, unit after attaching and hooking up the battery we just do some pre-testing make sure that there are lights uh, otherwise we can uh, troubleshoot it immediately moving on to the top part of the case this is a drafted part because <laughs> i've uh, missed some parts and revisited again yeah we took which took me uh, quite some uh, time so uh, for viewers who have the time and patience, you can write down and record uh, what steps have been done. For me, uh, I'll just do it by memory and uh, by logic, uh, meaning uh, which screw goes where and which parts go in first. Okay, first of all, we need to install uh, the customizable um, switch below the scroll wheel then follow up by the control board that links to the ribbon cable each of these boards there will be two screws uh, securing it next will be these plastic parts that uh, the scroll wheel come out of remember that uh, it's held up with, with a, a so-called hook piece of plastic after installing it make sure it's in place before uh, screwing down So for these two screws are the slightly bigger head ones. Another thing that I have learned over the past many uh, teardown videos are these ribbon cables. Uh, usually they have a red line or indication uh, on it. So when you slotted it, right, uh, the red line should be uh, very, very close to the attachment point because if it seems um, obviously further out, that means uh, it's not uh, slotted uh, correctly. For the plastic parts of this mouse is very very complex because the wires right they will have somewhere to hook around for organization so uh, because the wires are quite thick and quite solidly uh, soldered together don't be afraid to uh, twist it a bit manipulate it a bit And for viewers who are afraid that uh, you might mix up which um, switch go where, right? Remember the, the switch that is with the 20 million click count, that one will be for your left click because that's the most that uh, we are using. Then the other switches will eliminate it by uh, using the length. Uh, where it's closest to and also the other switch which is uh, with uh, two switches that will naturally be on the left hand side time 
at this point of recording the voiceover, I have been thinking, might there be a manufacturer who will be making this uh, modular uh, mouse where the left, right, the top and bottom um, shell can be interchanged and customized to your uh, liking. So for those power users who would need a screw you on the left, there's a module you can maybe magnetically uh, attach it or use some simple screws to attach it. That's a business idea. So for viewers in Singapore, if you have any uh, gaming mouse that are faulty uh, and you do not require it, you can leave a, a message or comment uh, at the comment section so we can organize to see how we can um, collect it from you and hopefully we can feature it as one of our videos. So guys, for this uh, screw that I'm installing right now, remember this is the one with the square washer inside that holds down these two uh, switches. This next part here is really interesting which I have not seen in any other mouse. So uh, looking at the design of it, it, it seems like a returning spring for the, uh, the left click. Uh, the, it do exist on the right click as well because it seems like um, the, the spring on the switch is not enough to return it. So they design um, an additional spring to push up the spring. Uh, the, 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 switch after you compress it so on the right click there is this spring as well but it looks a bit differently now you can see that it is on the tabletop the l-shaped spring so um, if i have not told you right um, it makes very very little difference so this is one part that has uh, troubled me in this uh, video because it's really, really small to install and it doesn't sit into its ledge. So I'll just show you uh, a basic how it's being installed. Then it should hook up onto this uh, U channel here. So for this spring wise off screen it took me around 30 tries and some uh, bending of the spring before I, I managed to get it right but do be careful when you are installing the uh, right plastic switch right it will move the spring So moving on to installing the left and right plastic uh, parts, right? These screws are using the slightly bigger head ones. Two screws that holds down the uh, side buttons. Then we are left with uh, five 
for the uh, plastic part that lights up uh, G. So uh, seriously, for this um, tear down and clean, it had been an uh, adventure for me because I have never uh, tear down and another mouse that is as complex as this. But I've seen some videos of the newer um, Logitech G Pro uh, gaming mouse. They look much more easier to to uh, tear down. So um, in the near future, I'll be getting myself some of these screw, these mouses to tear down, and maybe do a comparison how the design have uh, evolved. So again, for fans that love and enjoyed my teardown videos, staying till now, thank you so much. So again, to prom of you, if, if you have not uh, subscribed to my channel, do subscribe. It will encourage me to do more of such videos to help uh, all of you. So in my next videos, uh, I'll be doing comparisons of the mics that I've used and I will be using in my new videos. For this current uh, one, I'm using the Audio-Technica ATH2500X which is a USB uh, mic that plugs into my uh, iPad Pro directly. No external um, interface required to power it. Moving on to the final stage of uh, assembly, the last ribbon cable to install. So uh, these are quite tricky because uh, usually the ribbon cable is not long enough and we need to, to slot it uh, deep enough before we can attach it and make sure it works. Yes, oh, the, the light uh, glows and off screen I have tested it uh, on the computer and all functions works well. And finally, we have completed the teardown and clean of this Logitech G403 Prodigy wireless mouse. Signing off, this is Restore Refurb Works. Till the next one.